Hi guys, today I'm going to talk to you about wisdom teeth and do wisdom teeth, when they're growing, when they're pushing forward, do they cause all your front teeth to, to get crowded, to overlap? Okay. Now I do a lot of brace work and one of the most common things I hear all the time from my patients is that my teeth were lovely and straight until my wisdom teeth came out and that pushed everything forward and now they're all overlapping at the front. Okay. Um, this might not be the whole picture, right? There's a whole load of boffins who did some research on this and there's a certain group of people, there's about 10% of people who just do not develop wisdom teeth. And even in these people, at roughly the same age as when the wisdom teeth are supposed to come out, they will all, well, most of them will get a certain amount of crowding at the front, a little bit of overlapping. Their teeth won't be as straight as they used to be. So, what causes this? Um, I think the easiest way to imagine this is there's always a gentle force pushing your teeth towards the midline, right? And um, it doesn't matter if it's your wisdom teeth or not. To be honest, your wisdom teeth are way too far back to actually cause problems at the front. Um, if you imagine that this force is gently pushing everything forward and your, your teeth, if you look at it from the top, it's, it's kind of like um, an arch, like, you know, you get those stone... Um, stone arches and the constant force towards the middle is just um, is held together it, it doesn't collapse in because everything that keystone at the top is holding everything in a perfect arch form now say one of your teeth starts to move a little bit all right then what happens is this arch starts to collapse a touch and this constant gentle force pushing everything into the middle causes your teeth to get overlapped and it might not be, um, it might not be obvious where, what's causing this first one to, to come out of place. Quite often, there's one tooth at the bottom which has come out of place, it's come forward a little bit, and that causes a, a pressure at the back of your top tooth, which pushes your top tooth forward, and then everything gently becomes more and more overlapped. Um, luckily, if you catch this soon enough, Right, it's really easy and straightforward and cheap as well. It's really cheap to get this sorted out. Um, you might just need a really short course of uh, orthodontic treatment and it will get everything in the right place and then just have some retainers and that will hold everything in the right place. Make sure that that initial little movement doesn't step out of line. Um, if, you, if you leave it you know, and it's got quite bad, you know, there's always something that is possible. Um, and the, the extent of crowding that's happened, that, you know, that kind of dictates how long your treatment's going to take and roughly you know, what it's going to cost as well. Um, so I hope I've been clear. I hope that you know, now you might think twice. You know, it's not always your wisdom teeth, even though a lot of people say you know, they can feel the pressure. That's actually just the tooth coming out. Um, but the teeth will actually just overlap by themselves if you, if you let them. If you found this useful, please like the, the video on YouTube, you know, that, that really helps more people see it. Um, you can join onto my free mailing list, you know, if you're thinking about getting braces, join onto my braces mailing list and you'll get a, a series of really informative emails which will just help you make the right decision. It'll tell you all the different kinds of braces available, ideas on costs, you know, what to expect and um, just help you make a, a really informed decision.